So I was at the park the other day and then this happened. Total bad luck, but hopefully that changes when we open up Pokemon God Packs. God Pack set number one. Okay, I wonder what's inside of these. God Pack set number two. Ooh, nice, I like the look of this pack here. God Pack set number three. So oh, look at that artwork. These are cards that other people have put into these packages and we're gonna see which of these is better. Vendor one, vendor two, or vendor three. Stick around to the end so you can tell me whether or not we got our money's worth or this was an absolute waste of time and I just should go to the doctor for my head. Quick disclaimer, I'm not sponsored or affiliated with the creators of these packs. All right, God Packs, we got five of the first batch right here. Just to give you some perspective, each of these packs for each of these three different vendors costs 50 bucks. So this is 50 bucks, this is 50 bucks, this is 50 bucks, this is 50. So I spent about 750 bucks, it's 250 bucks total for each vendor. So I'm hoping we have some stuff that's worth it in here. Oh, it actually says God Pack on there. I didn't even notice that when we opened this up. Near Mint to Mint Condition, okay. One out of 10 packs, first edition hollow. So we have five of these God Packs here from vendor number one. Uh, one Hotsey, Watsi Wallow, one Watsi Hollow, one Watsi Rare, one Watsi First Edition, one Host Watsi, and 4X Uncommon Watsi. Okay, so let's do pack number one here. And I think we can just open this up like a little Ziploc bag. Okay, maybe not, I hope. Oh, dude, did you glue this on here? <coughs> you know what, I'm just gonna cut. All right, God Pack number one. This is looks like it was printed out and, uh, ooh, okay. And it's folded, it looks official, but not really. Dark Muck from Team Rocket, this is unlimited. And we have a balloon berry, all uh, that I ever wanted in life, it was a balloon berry. A Grimer, so is there like a little theme here? We have a Grimer to a Dark Muck, let's see. A full heal, yes, because I'm gonna need a full heal after this video apparently. A Palkia, Voltorb, first edition, there's the first edition, and it's a non-holo. And then we have an Ursa Ring, and a Dark Gyarados pre-release. No way we got something good out of that, wow. Wow, okay, how's the condition on this guy? Actually pretty good. This actually is very surprising. First hit on the first God Pack. Okay, so next up we got Dark Vaporeon from Unlimited Team Rocket, Rocket's Hideout, that's cool. A Gold Duck from Fossil, we have Bill. Bill, Bill, Bill. Bill, 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 Bill. We have Yavetel, this is another Ghost Watsi era card. A Machop first edition, that's pretty cool, from Team Rocket, and a Pinsir and a Magneton, okay. So we did get another hollow. Oh no, no, sorry. I am just all over the place right now. One Watsi hollow in every pack, but I like that we're picking up some good stuff here. All of these cards are gonna be put into a giveaway that we do here. Typically we do these giveaways every single week. So make sure you don't miss out. Let's go to pack number two. We have yet to get the hot pull, which again, now that I know and I can read and understand correctly, one out of 10 packs is a first edition hollow. But right now we're all in vintage. So Vulpix, we got old rod. Hey. I like to fish, that's cool, but I like a newer rod. Horsey from Fossil, Goop Gas Attack, that was me after Taco Bell last night. Zekrom from 25th Anniversary, so I guess the post Watsi cards are very, very modern. Shelter from First Edition Fossil, Raichu, that is a nice non holo from Fossil, and Okay, these hollows are pretty nice, but mind you, again, remember, this is $50 per pack. Have we gotten our money back yet? Maybe, maybe not. It kind of depends how you feel about this stuff. And the condition is actually really, really good. We've picked up a lot of collections, which I've been having a lot of fun with recently. However, a lot of those collections have very, very poor condition cards. These ones are pretty good. Can we get the elusive first edition hollow? Maybe a Charizard, that'd be pretty crazy. Doubtful. Bonita, we got a Pokemon Breeder Field. So it seems like a Pokemon, then a trainer, then a Pokemon, and then a trainer. Yep, ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. I don't know if we're gonna get it. Kabuto first edition, a Zapdos non-holo, and a Mr. Mime, exactly what I was looking for. Final God Pack from vendor number one. Can we get the first edition? We got a Gramble though. Maybe that's how upset I'm gonna look after this video is finished. Healing Field, we got the Magmar. I'm gonna call Imposter Professor Oak on the next one. Gambler, I was gambling on that and did not come through. We got a Mew. A Magnemite, first edition, Dark Doug Trio, and non first edition EV promo. Ooh, this is a great, great EV promo. This artwork was also featured in the Japan Railway edition uh, in a non holo form, but it's nice to get the holo here as well. Some vintage promos. My favorite, I think, is this Dark Gyarados. We didn't get the first edition pull, but hey, you know what? Not a bad first lot of cards there. So that's vendor numero uno. Let's move on to vendor number two. We got five really nice, sort of minimal designed vintage TCG vault packs. Again, each of these costing 50 bucks, so that all of these are at the same 
playing field as far as cost. I do see like a print line. You could see like the print runner line. So very authentic Pokemon there. I'm just kidding, but not really. Every booster pack contains 11 randomly assorted authentic vintage cards. The air of each card varies from pre-2004. Language and regions of each card varies. Ooh, so we might get some non-English cards as well. Reopen nostalgia. I like it. I like the sort of tagline there. Let's see how well these packs open. Ooh, okay. I'm actually digging this so far. Uh, a lot better presentation than the sort of red Ziploc uh, bags of death there that I had trouble opening earlier. Misty's Goldeen. Let's see if we get any first edition in this. We got an Oddish. I actually really like this artwork, by the way. And we got a Sabrina Slowpoke, a Machop, Misty's Horsey. That's double Misty there. Erica's Bellsprout, Dark Flareon. Are we gonna get any hollows in this? Maybe the pack trick is already done and the hollow is in the back if there is one. Eevee from Team Rocket, I like that. It's just like that, uh, All right, I'll tell you from the bottom of my heart. You know, the like, uh, emo haircut? I don't know what song that was, but don't judge me. Uh, Kadabra, ooh, okay. Kangas Khan, can this get any better? A Diglett, no, it can't. Uh, okay, Kangas Khan Hollow. So, Patrick would be one to the front? Anyway, let's see what pack number two has to offer. We're gonna go one to the front. All right, here we go. Bam, Ekans. Let's see if this works. Weepin' Bell, Kabuto, Shelder, Metapod, Blaine's Ponita, Meowth, Coughing, <clears throat> Eradicate, Drowsy, and this should be the hollow if there is one. Is that a no symbol Vaporeon? No, because the, the, the symbol would be a no rarity symbol, right? Hold up. A few moments later. My assumptions were true. These are error, no symbol jungle cards. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Vaporeon, a little scratched up. Condition is not terrible on the back, actually. Kangaskhan on the front surface is looking a little better, but look at that, no symbol. There's supposed to be a jungle symbol right there. These are, these are error cards. That's awesome. Okay, okay, let's keep going. Can we get another? There we go, Pidgey, Kabuto. We got Tentacool. Erica's Execute, Porygon, Horsey, Drowsy, Darkmuck, a Rhyhorn, and, ooh, not a no symbol, because we have a symbol right there. This is Team Rocket Unlimited Dark Golbat, but still a really cool holo, and that is going to be a nice addition to the giveaway right there. Next up, vendor number two, pack number four, another Ekans. We're gonna go one to the front. Krabby, what's up, Krabby? Hope you are recovered from all the sun damage we gave you back in the day. Uh, Krabby, we got Ekans, Spiro, Sabrina's Abra, Oddish. We got Wartortle, Brox's Onyx, Tentacool, Dark Gloom, that's really cool, and... Ooh, Blaine's Vulpix, that is not the last card. Okay, and a Hitmonlee from Fossil. And finally, here we go. Team Rocket, we got uh, Misty Psyduck, Oddish, Diglett, Rattata, Magikarp. Let's see, some Jigglypuff, Ekans, Misty Skuldeen, and... Ooh, let's go, Moltres. That is a great legendary bird to get in Fossil. That's not first edition. We didn't see any first edition in here, but those are the five hollows that we got. How do they compare to the other hollows? That's pretty dope. Let's move on to vendor number three, who gave us a bunch of stuff. I mean, look at all this that's here. You know this is coming from Japan because whenever you order something from Japan, they always throw in some extra goodies in there. Uh, and one of these goodies is a really cool little pack of, I think, stickers. This is the 1996 base set, but in a mini form. Look at that, it has the backing on there. Let's see if we get anything good. These aren't quite as mini as the miniest of all cards that we've opened up. That video actually performed very well. But we got base set, Yellow Cheeks Pikachu. All right, let's just go through this real quick. Do, 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 Ooh, Squirtle, cute. And I think these are stickers, maybe not. Charmander, maybe that's a sign. Ooh, okay. Super crazy hollowed out Machamp. Um, are these stickers? Let's see, let's do the full heel. They're not stickers. I'm so sorry about that. Okay, I apologize. I'm glad I chose that card. Okay, let's actually open up all of these, see what goodies we get, and then we'll open up all the packs at the end here. Different things in each of these. So we got like a little newsletter situation going on. I don't know what... Okay. Ooh, a really neat pocket. Ooh, this is holographic. Pocket Monster Trainer. This is uh, for a Game Boy game. That's cool. I like that. And this is looks like a menu at a restaurant or something. I'll take the uh, grilled cheese sandwich. And then, wow, look at these packs. This is really cool. So we got some mini cards in there as well. And, oh, that one's sort of a semi mini card. Is this one now a sticker? Why do I want stickers so bad right now? I don't know. And we got the Pikachu Illustrator. All right. And uh, we have some other things. 
Very cool. We got a very weird looking promo thing. We got the base set Pikachu there that we saw earlier. Ooh, there we go. We got Machamp from Neo, a little sort of insert, which is pretty cool. There's that pack, which I'm going to love opening in just a second. And then another insert of sorts. Ooh, look at that Pikachu. Next up, look at the artwork on this guy. That is cool. There's just so much going on here. We could study this for a little bit. You can pause it if you want, but I'm not gonna go too much further here. Dabra. That Articuno, that is awesome. Ooh, we got the Deep Pocket Monster. Oh, sorry, not Deep Pocket Monster, but we got the green version of the Game Boy game there in Japan, and that's pretty cool. All right, there we go. We got five of these awesome looking packs. Big, big shout out to the artist there, that's cool. 10 vintage Pokemon cards, old back 90s cards. Japanese, it looks like these might be all Japanese, right? We do have Wizards of the Coast down there. Let's open this up. This packaging is a little thicker. Right, this is like a candy bar wrapper sort of status. Little little bit of glue there. Oh, something is sleeved in there. The whole thing is glued in there. Here we go. Ooh, we got some Japanese vintage cards coming in. Nice. An unknown right there. We got the Rhyhorn coming at you. Very cute. The Oddish, the Natu, and and and. Okay, so we got some trainers, no hollows in here. Some real nice old vintage cards from Japan. All right, let's keep going here. All right, now we know this, these are sleeved and I hope we get something good. Maybe the chances are just like in real packs, but let's open this up. All right, we got a ghastly, cute. Got the bats, all right. Slow poke and that's how I feel right now because I had such high hopes for the design of these packs. Come on, can we get something good in here? All right, here we go. Squirtle, that's nice from Team Rocket. I love that artwork. Porygon and a Persian. Let's see, Kingler, uh, come on, Diglett, Cubone. And Gambler, this is actually a band card, I believe. So that does have some value. This is a band card in Japan. Correct me if I'm wrong. That is pack number three. Come on. There's gotta be one good card out of this pack. Come on, come on. Ooh. Dratini, that's that's a beautiful looking card. Come on, there's gotta be a hollow in there. There's gotta be a hollow in here. Let's see. Zatu. Kingdra. No more trainers. No. Okay. <sighs> this is how I'm feeling right now, too. That's probably how the uh, seller feels, actually. Alright. The final countdown. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da 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 -da. Here we go. That's actually a really beautiful looking card. Letaba. Come on. Let's see it. Big lit. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's going to be a trainer, isn't it? Or it might be that Charizard that we're looking for. It's a trainer. Oh no. Gust of wind. <sighs> Hey, thank you for watching this video. Tell me which set of God packs. We tried five for each. That way we knew we had a good sample size. Vendor one, vendor two, or vendor three. Which is your favorite? And also, what was the favorite pickup that we got here? I have my favorites. Maybe they match yours. Let me know in the comments. Check out some of these videos over here for more fun stuff, unique things that are happening over here at Deep Pocket Monster. Peace out. Thanks so much.